Game Ranks presents 10 facts about Nintendo's Game Boy that you probably didn't know. We got a lot of information here, so let's get started off with number 10. Since the Super Nintendo wasn't powerful enough to emulate an actual Game Boy in software, the Super Game Boy actually contained all of the hardware of a regular Game Boy except the screen inside the cartridge. For those of you that don't know, the Super Game Boy is a Super Nintendo emulator for Game Boy games. But unlike regular emulators that are just software emulators, this one is actually a physical hardware emulation. So if you bought the Super Game Boy to use with your Super Nintendo, you basically just bought another Game Boy. Number 9. The Game Boy Advance SP was originally supposed to support 3D. Yeah man, that's for real. Everybody's favorite clamshell backlit revision of the Game Boy Advance actually was supposed to be 3D. Of course, Nintendo soon realized that that was a massive software and hardware undertaking for just a simple revision, so they scrapped it. The ideas for 3D were shelved and weren't used for a while until the final surfacing of the 3DS. Imagine that really good 3D on the new Nintendo 3DS XL, but on a Game Boy Advance? That's crazy! So if you love your 3DS, thank your Game Boy Advance. Number 8. Did you know that the creator of the Nintendo Game Boy was originally hired by Nintendo as a machine maintenance man? Started from the bottom. Yes, Gunpei Yokoi majored in electronics and was hired by Nintendo in 1965 to maintain their assembly lines for their toy manufacturing. So the legendary Mr. Yokoi went from fixing machines to developing his own. Remember kids, if you try hard and apply yourself, you can do cool things. Like invent video games. Number 7. Speaking of Gunpei Yokoi and old Nintendo as a company, in the 1960s, Nintendo actually manufactured a toy called the Ultra Hand. It was basically just one of those expandable plastic claws on a hook, but it blew up, and the success from it actually helped save Nintendo from serious financial downfall. The Ultra Hand kind of single-handedly saved Nintendo. And guess who invented that? Gunpei Yokoi. Yep, that was his first invention, and after that, he moved on to make the Game Boy. Number 6. The creators of South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, actually created a South Park video game for the Game Boy Color. This game that the creators created themselves didn't really go anywhere because it wasn't suitable for the market because it wasn't for children, so it ultimately went nowhere. Apparently, the two famous creators actually kept the last copies of this game to commemorate and remind themselves of their first foray into video games. Of course, after this, we soon saw a bunch of licensed South Park games for Nintendo 64 and PlayStation, some good and some bad. Number 5. Did you know that the original Game Boy and the Game Boy line was only discontinued in 2003? Yes, all the original Game Boys were still alive and supported up until that time. It's actually kind of nice to see companies not ditch their products and leave them dead in the water. You know who I'm talking about. Number 4. Here's a little fun fact for you music fans. The cover of Neil Young's album Silver and Gold was actually taken with a Game Boy camera. Yes, remember the Game Boy camera? That short-lived peripheral that took really crappy, low-res, weird pictures? There was also the Game Boy printer. Do you remember that? You could take pictures and print them out all with your Game Boy. While it was totally craptastic, it was way before digital cameras, so this was kind of a big deal. And apparently it was a big deal to Neil Young, who actually is a bit of a tech nerd. Number 3. Here's a fun fact for you PC Master Race people, the Nintendo Game Boy actually ran at 60 frames per second. What? I know, right? It actually sounds crazy, but the 1989 original Game Boy actually ran at 60 FPS. Of course, there was a ton of motion blur, so it didn't really count for anything. But if you really want to get technical, this is actually true. And it kind of makes you think, does 60 frames per second really matter? It didn't really seem like it did then, but it certainly does now. Number 2. Nintendo actually created an original Game Boy that had backlighting. Yeah, some of you younger folks may not remember this, but playing the original Game Boy in the dark was a bitch. You usually had to get a little third-party clip on book light, but that was really awkward, so usually you were just playing by moonlight or waiting until the morning. But in Japan, there was a Game Boy that featured a backlight. Unfortunately, it was never released outside of Japan, and we never saw it here in the States. But they do exist out there. I really wish I had one when I was a kid. Number one. Alright, this fact is a little obvious if you like to think about science and stuff, but it is still absolutely mind-blowing. The technology contained in a single Game Boy unit in 2000 exceeds all the computing power that was used to put the first man on the moon in 1969. Data storage was so small back in the 60s that basically anything, even my phone, even my watch, has more computing power than what it took to get the man on the moon. But it's really weird if you think about it that a child's toy that has technology that surpassed the government's and NASA's can be found used for 20 bucks on Craigslist. So next time, before you think about your awesome technology not working for a split second, think about what we used to have, because that shit is crazy. Oh, hold on, we got a quick bonus fact here. Nintendo actually still supports the original Game Boy. The Nintendo website still hosts a full FAQ and troubleshooting guide. And not only that, but apparently if you call the hotline, they'll still walk you through your troubles and help you fix your Game Boy. So if you have a Game Boy that's been broken for almost 30 years, maybe call Nintendo and they can help you out. So guys, those were 10 facts about Nintendo's Game Boy that you might not have known. But what we do want to know in the comments is what you do know. Let us know if you have any weird Nintendo fun facts and let us know which one on the list really blew your mind the most. And if you had a good time and maybe learned something, click the like button because it really helps us out. Subscribing is even better though because we do videos like this and giveaways all the time. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.